Oh look! There's a full moon! It casts so much light, we almost don't need our flashlights to see! It's very bright, yes. But did you know that it's not actually the moon that's producing this light? The light we see, and that illuminates these woods around us, is actually light from the sun. What do you mean? The sun is not even up. No, the light from the sun might not reach us where we are now, but it reaches the moon. It travels all the way there, hits the moon, then bounces off the moon's surface, and travels all the way to our eyes. That's why we can see the moon. And, some of that light that is reflected off the moon, hits things here on Earth, like the tent and our backpacks, and then it bounces off them. And then it travels from those objects to our eyes. Is that how the light from the sun works too? Yes. The sun is a very strong source of light. That's why you should never look directly into the sun, or you might go blind. The light that's emitted from the sun, travels all the way through space to Earth, and it bounces off things. Cars, houses, people, animals, computers, trees. Everything. When the light bounces off something, it then travels from that thing to our eyes. This light carries important information about the thing it hit. Our eyes take that information, and then send it on to our brain. Our brain then processes this information, and tells us what it is we are looking at. So it's not our eyes that tell us what we are seeing? No. Our eyes receive the information that the light is carrying, and give the brain clues about the color, size, and shape of it, but it is the brain that takes that information, and puts it all together so it makes sense. So, when I look at the full moon, your eyes receive the light that's bounced off it, and that carries the information that it's something big, round, white, that's seemingly not moving. Then, they pass that information onto your brain, that recognizes the moon. What if I were looking at something else? Like a chair? Let's say you were at home. If it were dark in your house, you would not be able to see the chair, right? Right. But you have light sources in your house. Like a lamp. If you turned the lamp on, the light from the lamp would travel to the chair, and hit it. It would then be reflected back from the chair, and to your eyes, carrying the information that you are looking at something brown, with four legs, that's made of wood, and so on. And my brain would then receive that information, put it all together, and recognize the chair. That's right. And that's why we can't see anything when it's dark. There is no light source emitting light that would bounce off things and get to our eyes. Our eyes don't have any information to send to our brains. Exactly. Hey, it's getting late. Let's talk more about this in the morning. Alright, good night. Good night. <laughs>